welcome back to another face mask review. So this one is for the Global Beauty Care Charcoal Gel Face Mask. Comes with an applicator and it is to unclog pores and lift away impurities. It's a 15 minute facial therapy. It's 1.7 ounces um, on the back or actually on the side of this one. And for the record, this is by the same parent brand that does spa scriptions. So as I was researching them and seeing what all they have to offer, I saw that they sell these as well. A lot of them look like they might be dupes just under the parent brand name instead of under spa scriptions. So not sure if they're the same or a little different or what. Uh, I'll probably do some comparisons somewhere down the line, but for right now we're just working on this. I bought this off the Shop Miss A website, so I only paid a buck, but even on the parent website, it's only like a couple bucks, I think, so not bad. But yeah, so Global Beauty Care Charcoal Gel Face Mask is infused with natural charcoal, which acts like a magnet to gently draw out deep-dwelling dirt, oil, and impurities from your clogged pores and lifts away dead skin cells without over-drying. Your face will look clearer and feel softer from the inside out. My, my nose, as we can tell, could use some help, so I figured this is a good time to do a purity mask, or an impurity mask, sorry. So our ingredients are water, sodium lorith 8 sulfate, charcoal powder, glycerin, propylene glycol, butylene glycol, trehalose, betaine, I still don't know how to properly say that, betaine maybe? Uh, hydrolyzed wheat protein, retinol, which is vitamin A, tocopherol, which is tocopherol, sorry, vitamin E, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, hydro or hydroxyethyl cellulose, sodium hyaluronate, carbamer, triethanolamine, triethanolamine, I guess, dipotassium gly glycerizate, I think. Ethyl hexoglycerin. Boy, there's like a little bit of fluff in my uh, face, or not the uh, spa headband that as I was pulling it up got stuck on my nose. Uh, phenoxyethanol, elantuan, and pearl powder. It's pH balanced, hypoallergenic, not tested on animals, and for all skin types. So to use, thoroughly clean and dry your face. Dip applicator into jar and scoop desired amount. Spread evenly over face, avoiding eyes and lips. Wear a mask for 10 to 15 minutes for best results. Make sure to wash off all of remaining residue immediately after treatment, as leaving on longer can cause an allergic reaction. Jesus Christ. Um, that also, you know, makes me wonder if these are dupes, because on the spa descriptions one, word for word, same warning. <laughs> Refrain from using if you have sensitive skin or are allergic to any ingredients listed in the ingredient panel. Recommended usage two to three times a week. Clean applicator. Clean applicator after every use. Rinse clean with warm water, water and mild soap. Shake off excess water and gently pat applicator dry against a clean towel. Warning for external use only. Avoid contact with eyes. Irritating to eyes. Product gets into eyes and stinging occurs. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. Do not spread on large areas of skin. Apply only topically. Wouldn't, you know, doing your whole face be a large area of skin? Like, am I incorrect in this? I don't know, but regardless, let's take a look at this. I've actually never used a charcoal face mask yet, so I'm kind of excited to see what my skin will do with it. So, it's exactly the same size and shape and basically everything as the spa descriptions ones. Surprise, surprise. The applicator, though, is not... <coughs> excuse me, it's not like the ones from Spot Scriptions. It's honestly just a little plastic scratchy spatula. I'm like, oh. So honestly, I am not using this one. I am using my silicone one. Thank you very much, which was not from either brand, but regardless, we're gonna go ahead and do this. So. Ooh, Jesus. Well, interestingly, there is a little spatula sparklies in the black. I don't think it's picking up on camera, but it's almost glittery, which kind of looks cool. I'm gonna go from the lid first, since there's some in there. Cause may as well use up everything. Whew, that does not feel like I expected it to. That's a weird-ass sensation. Oh, wow. That reminded me I didn't show the one part of the box I meant to, but that's okay, I'll show it after. <laughs> it 
it tickles. Oh my god. Given the current political climate, hopefully nobody goes, Oh my god, cancel her! She's doing blackface, even though it's literally just a face mask, but... We'll find out what happens, I suppose. Yeah, it's too thin over there. Let's get some more of this bad boy on there. That's more like it. Feels really good though so far. Nice and cool, which on a fairly hot day, pretty refreshing. I'm hoping I don't stain my headband if it does get on it a little. Feels like Ash Wednesday all of a sudden. <laughs> there from the edges of the jaw. Woo! That feels really cool, actually. I wasn't expecting that. Oh man, there was a little bit of hair that was sticking out from under there. Oh well. It's gonna get a little wiped, but that's alright. More on here. I need to pull it down. Yeah, I see it, guys. I know that's gonna suck, but oh well, I'll wash it out later. That is a problem for future me to worry about. Yeah, it just got on the headband a little. That sucks. Oh well. Come on, get up in there. Get up in there. It's like, yeah, well, seal's broken, so may as well get it dirty now. I was trying to be real careful before, but now I'm like, ah, screw it, who cares? Need a little more, I think. Didn't say anything about not using on broken skin, so uh, hopefully it wasn't recently enough to have been bad to be using this there. But oh well, if it was, because it's on now. Oh dear, I didn't mean to wipe it away from as big an area as I just did. Oh, didn't mean to fling it either. Oh shit. My bad. Okay. That's feel really good now that it's on. Okay. I only got a little on my finger. It's okay. Honestly, that is way less messy than I was expecting this whole endeavor to be. So, um, where'd the box go? I was gonna say, false advertising, by the way, if, uh, they're claiming this is gonna look like that. But I guess we'll, uh, see when it's done, really. So, I'll be back in, like, 15 minutes, guys. Okay, so I've got all washed off my face. The redness here has nothing to do with the mask. It was like that before. But, um, wow. Wow. I am really surprisingly impressed for something I paid a buck for. Um... So, fair warning, this little mask, when you use a washcloth to wash it up, uh, you're, you're gonna have yourself a bit of a time getting it out of the washcloth, so, you know, use a dark colored one, preferably. But regardless, getting it off your skin, oh my gosh, my pores feel so clean. 
like I said, I've never used a charcoal mask before, but this is like next level stuff. And maybe it's just because I have never ever used a charcoal mask before that I have no point of comparison of knowing how it stacks up to higher quality ones or more expensive ones, but just on based off of never having used one before and now I have, I am so damn impressed. I'm like, I definitely, next time I shop from Shop Say, I want to buy some more of this if it's still in stock. No, I'll buy it off the retailer website. I'll pay the buck or two more for it, because oh my god. That's really good. Shit, now I feel like I should have bought that Freeman charcoal one that's like three or four bucks at the grocery store. That's a big old tube. Maybe I'll get that next time I go there, because wow, if this is what charcoal masks are like, I think I'm in love. Still not quite as much as I am with the clay masks, because the clay masks, like, make the laugh lines disappear on me for some reason. But wow, in terms of, like, getting everything, like, squeaky clean and feeling like it really did draw out all of the impurities and crap that's in my skin. Boy, it did a good job of that. And I know, I have a cold sore right here, we're trying to ignore that. But, um, if I can get close enough for you guys to see, barring the breakout on the end of my nose right now, but my huge ginormous pores are like so clean. I think there's still a little bit of mask right there. Let's try and... Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's just a mark, but still, I'm like, wow! Wow! Check that out. I'm like, now imagine if I'd been using this before I got that breakout. I probably wouldn't have gotten that breakout, but now I know. So two to three times a week, they say, huh? I don't want to overdry my skin, but wow, I am so impressed. Holy shit. I feel like maybe it's just because I'm naive with masks so far still, but currently I'm giving this a five out of five rating because I think this stuff is just magical. I definitely want to try more charcoal masks now because oh my goodness. That is so impressive. I cannot even right now. Holy crap. Anyways, that is it for this one, guys. So until next time, or let me do my sign off first before I say till next time. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Yes, I know we're at that time of day where the sun is starting to make it really hard to film. I keep trying to move the table I'm filming on to fight it long enough to finish filming this. So go ahead and give this a like, subscribe if you're not already, hit the notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, uh, leave comments down below if you guys tried this one before, what did you guys think of it, how do you think it stacks up compared to other charcoal masks, are there any charcoal masks you would highly recommend for somebody who's a total noob to this that work really well, preferably that are affordable too, but I mean, you know, you can recommend whatever. Let me know down below, as well as just your favorite masks in general, period. I would love to hear them. Um, make sure you are following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.